Hello, everyone. I am Wang Yiqing, and uh, I'm glad to introduce our work on designing a two-stage auction for online advertising. This is a joint work of Zheng Zhezheng, Fan Wu from Shanghai Jiao Tong University, and uh, Xiang Yu Liu, Zhilin Zhang, Miao Xu, and Chuan Yu from Alibaba Group. First, I will quickly introduce an online advertising system. During an online auction, the advertiser submits a bid for a click based on her valuation. That platform computes the predicted clicks for rate CTR for an ad display. That platform computes the, uh, the, then the widely used auction mechanism called a general as the second price auction, shortly the GSP auction determines the location and the payment. It sort of all and candidate ads by bid times CTR, select the top K ads to display. When we, still see your, you, we still see your first slide. So if you can share the oh. right screen. Oh, sorry. Can you see the second slide? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. So, okay, go on. Uh, okay. Um, the, the payment rule of the GSP auction is that when an ad at rank J is clicked after display, the payment for it is calculated as the bid times CTR at rank J plus one divided by CTR at rank J. We notice that there are in fact two major computation modules in an ad auction. One is a mechanism and the other is a CTR estimator whose input is the ad feature and the user feature, and whose output is the CTR for each ad. The number of candidate ads uh, n here is typically around thousands. The number of final allocation k here is typically around tens. As, um, as this is an online service system, so there is response time limitation, which is typically dozens of milliseconds. Uh, okay, our goal is to maximize social welfare. Social welfare is defined as the expectation of some uh, value times click of the allocated K ads. The expectation is on the random event of user click. We consider the bidder's utility model as a value maximizer model. That is, the bidder firstly prefers a higher ad slot when payment is no more than value, and the bidder secondly prefers a lower payment for the same slot. According to the result from Wilkins in 2017, an auction is incentive compatible to value maximizer if the allocation rule is monotone to bid and the payment is equal to critical price, which means the lowest bid to win the same allocation. We can see that GSP auction is incentive compatible to value maximizer. Therefore, we can regard the bid as the valuation. Along with uh, an unbiased uh, CTR estimator, what the auction system can do for social welfare maximization is to max the expectation of some of the bid times CTR of the K allocated ads. And this is equal to the expectation of some of the top K from B times CTR for uh, the all N candidates. The performance of um, biased CTR estimator determines the gap between what we really want and what we can do. The more add user features and the more advanced the model are used, the more refined CTR estimation is. And then the higher social welfare we can achieve but also the more response time we need because of the overhead of CTR estimator. Uh, due to the limited response time of the online service, uh, two-stage architecture is widely used in auction system for making a trade-off between scalability and social welfare. And intuitive and widely used uh, two-stage design we call it grady design is as follows. In the first stage called the pre-auction stage, 
then candidate ads are ranked by B times a course CTR. And the top M typically hundreds of ads are selected to enter the second stage uh, called auction stage, which runs a GSP auction along with a refined CTI estimator to decide the final K allocation and the payment. The cost CTI estimator uses partial add and user feature and used light machine learning model, so it is fast. While the refined CTI estimator uses full and add user features and use advanced deep learning model, so it is relatively slow. Obviously, greedy design is still incentive compatible to value maximizer model. Um, however, the, uh, however, the greedy design is intuitive and easy to understand. It is uh, suboptimal, and there is a simple example. During the pre-auction stage, the refined CTR is unknown, so it is regarded as a random variable. Consider the four ads. For the ad one, two, and three, the refined CTR is always the same as the core CTR. For the ad four, the refined CTR have two cases. Case, one, case A happens on a high probability of 0.9. Well, the refined CTI is a small value, 0.0011. Case B happens on a low probability of 0.1, while the refined CTI is a large value, 0.09. The average value of refined CTI is equal to the core CTI without loss of generality. Let B the equals one for all ads. If we use the greedy design, the output of pre-auction subset is at one, two, three, and the final display is always at one and two. However, the optimal solution is to select at one, two, and four in the pre-auction. And then the display at is one, two in case A, and four and one in case B. We note that a reason that the for suboptimality of greedy design is that the interaction between two stages uh, is ignored. It is not suitable to simply use the same ad selection metrics B times DTR in both stages separately. Now we discuss how to properly design an ad auction, which has a two stage allocation. We first consider the decoupling of two stages. Uh, the idea is simple. We just uh, need to fix the second stage as GSP auction with a refined CTI estimator. As GSP auction is optimal for social welfare and incentive compatible for a value maximizer. Then we can focus on the pre-auction design. The objective is to select a subset of M ads, which maximizes the social welfare after the second stage GSP auction. To formalize, during the pre-auction stage, there are n random variables of B times refined CTR. Our task is to select a subset of M random variables to maximize the sum of top K of the selected M random variables. Also, we need to consider the IC uh, constraint that the allocation in pre-auction stage should also be monotone according to bid. As our formalization of the pre-auction problem, we firstly remove the uh, IC constraint of monotone allocation. Then this is a stochastic submodular maximization problem with that capitality constraint. This is due to that some top K is submodular and its expectation is also submodular. This stochastic submodular maximization is the MP hard. Those that we want scalability in the pre-auction stage, so we would better find an otherwise 
metric for the sub subset selection. But the NP Harris tell us we are not likely to do it for the original problem. So we try a heuristically close problem. That is to maximize the recall on the top K set. The top K set means the set of K ads who has the largest B times refined CTR. Then we obtain a modular function. So we can derive a pre-auction score, which is the probability of uh, an ad to be in the top K set. As pre-auction score is an ad-wise subset selection metric, we can evaluate it for each ad in parallel. Pre-auction score is also monoton to beat, so the two-stage auction is incentive compatible to that maximizer. Uh, for computing pre-auction score, we next uh, introduce a, a parametric learning-based implementation to avoid the requirements of for explicit distribution of the randomness. To model the probability of uh, add the i being uh, in the top k set, we follow packet loose model to parameterize permutation distribution. Under PL model, the rankings by pre auction score is the same as rankings by PL parameters. Therefore, we use the NARD parameters of PL model as the learning based pre auction score. The supervised information is the B times the refined CTR. The loss function is. Two minutes. To, uh, okay. The loss function is to minimize the cross entropy between top one probability between the sample distribution and the PL parametric distribution. Uh, we use both public data set and industrial data set for empirical studies. We can see that the proposed pre-auction score works better for social welfare and the revenue than the greedy and other baselines. As we apply no deliberate design on the learning-based implementation of pre-auction score to guarantee a monotone allocation, it can, uh, but uh, in the IC test by counterfactual perturbation, uh, the model seems can uh, mon monotonicity uh, automatically. A conclusion, we introduce a two-stage auction design problem. This is a widely existing problem in online ad auction system. We consider the interaction between the two stages and the machine learning estimators in the two stages. We model the social welfare maximization of two-stage auction and decouple the two stages by fixing the second stage as the optimal and the incentive compatible auction. Then the pre-auction problem is a stochastic submodular optimization. We propose a heuristic pre-auction score uh, and uh, we also give a learning-based implementation. Uh, this is uh, my talk. Thanks for your listening. Thank you very much, King. Uh, great work. Uh, are there any questions? So I, I have a quick question. Um, do you think that the similar uh, type of analysis that you do uh, can play well also with the VCG mechanism? or would it require different analysis? Um, okay, and the difference is that our utility model is value maximizer, which is uh, not the uh, widely, uh, which is not the uh, quasi, quasi linear utility model. And so, so in, in the value maximizer utility model, uh, GSP, is, is a, a dominant strategy incentive compatible. Uh, so this uh, is a little bit different, but uh, uh, we we'll notice a uh, new research work from Google research. Um, they, uh, they call it a, a stochastic pro probing. Uh, they use a quasi-linear model to, to um, to work on a similar problem. And 
that is also very interesting.